In our Torah portion that we're going to be reading this Shabbat, there is an incredible verse that says that God is great and mighty. He shows no favoritism. He accepts no bribe. And then in the very next line, it says that he upholds the cause of the orphan and the widow. He loves the stranger, giving them food and clothing. There is this incredible juxtaposition between God being very powerful, mighty on the one hand, and helping those who are marginalized on the other. And I believe this speaks to a sense of humility. To have great power is a true responsibility, yet humility can be expressed by how you use that power. And it reminds me of an amazing story, a tragic story of a young woman uh, who will remain anonymous. She died all too young and she had enormous wealth. She had actually married a gentleman who was fabulously successful and the money that they had amassed, they, they didn't spend on themselves, but rather they gave most of it away to, to Sadaka. They were known beyond uh, their own Jewish community and they were also known uh, in, in Israel and actually around the world. They were incredible philanthropists. And tragically, after her young death at the funeral, as part of the eulogy, a story came out in terms of how she actually met and married her husband. Her husband was much older than her and was a friend of her parents. And on one occasion, the parents had turned to this gentleman and said, would you be able to give our daughter a summer job? And he said yes, and she started working for him. And on the course of uh, the summer, they were actually going out for dinner. Um, the older gentleman, the daughter, with the parents. Uh, and as they were making their way to the restaurant, they passed by a beggar on the street. And the older gentleman, the man who would eventually go on to become her husband, stopped and gave the beggar money, as was his custom. He was punctilious with always being able to give sadaka. And as they continued walking on, the younger lady turned to him and said, would you be able to lend me a large sum of money? I promise I will pay you back. And he did so without questioning. She then returned back to the beggar and gave him the entire sum of money. Later on, as they were walking towards the restaurant, he turned to her and said, why did you do that? And her reply was simply, what you gave him will help him for today but what I gave him will help him in terms of his life. And eventually the two would wed. And in a beautiful moment, he said that it was at that very moment that I realized that I wanted to marry her because her heart was simply bigger than mine. There is a incredible pedestal that we put people upon who exhibit the traits of humility. To have great wealth is one thing, to have great power is another, to have great influence a third. But who are the real great people in our society? It's people who have that sense of power, influence and wealth and can display great acts of humility in the process because the only people they think about are the powerless, those who are marginalized, those who are actually in great need. And why have we always had such admiration for people like that? Because it's a trait of following God himself. God is a great and mighty God, showing no favoritism, accepting no bribe, and yet upholding the cause of the orphan and the widow, loving the stranger, giving them food and clothing. May we all be able to emulate God and in the process achieve real humility. Shabbat Shalom.